What's good, YouTube? It's your boy R. Welcome back to AM Eyes Vibes. What you guys are doing? Good. I'm going right to that back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to GQ, how Donovan Mitchell spent his first million in the NBA. My first million. I ain't going to cap. If I have a million, my first million in the NBA. Everybody, oh, I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this shit right away. Stop capping me, girl. Uh, after taxes and my lawyers and my agents, I'm gonna separate that shit. My first million. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna renovate my little spot here. You know what I mean? Then I probably would do some shit like uh, make like a little studio for my YouTube stuff because I don't think I'll ever stop doing this. I'm gonna say that. I don't say I'll never stop doing it, but even if I get into the NBA, you know, just make this more lavish. And I think I buy a nice whip, nice whip. Take a nice vacation for sure. Somewhere lug some somewhere nice. Not no private jet. I'll fly in business, but not no private. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that button, subscribe, comment down below. Show your boys some love if you're on the way to 2000 subscribers. On the way to 2000 subscribers. Let's get it. This is a million dollars for real. What's up, G? I ain't gonna lie. That looks small as hell. And this is how I spent my first million. Yes, sir. I'm originally from Westchester, New York, but I, I live in Greenwich, Connecticut now. That's where I went to school. I where we're at right now with the Greenwich Country Day School from third grade to ninth grade. Grew up playing baseball, stopped in about 10th grade and started taking up basketball. And, um, you know, the next thing you knew, I was playing at Louisville. And you know, after two years, I tried to test the waters, uh, as they say, for, for the NBA. And I was thankfully drafted 13, and now here we are. In Boy. The, the, the ultimate goal, but for me, it was like, okay, how do I, you know, get to college? Then it became really reality, like, I could really do this. And, you know, throughout the process, that's when it became like, all right, like, this is this is what I want to do, take care of my family and make sure that they don't have to work uh, a day in their life and make sure they're all set. My mom, my sister, and my dad. So you sign the contract and then you're advanced. I think that's when you're like, whoa, you know, because you're, you're getting money from, you know, when you're doing the process, you have endorsement deals, you have, like, cards you sign, so you're getting money off of that. But, you know, when your first paycheck hits, it's like, whoa, like, you know, this is my job, this is what I do. You can see the details of my first rookie contract right here. How much? Fetching over, huh? Decent, decent. Four years, four teams. Fortunately, four. after my third year, you can get extended in your contract, and I was able to fortunately get an extension for uh, five years, and uh, was supposed to be 205, but someone didn't make all NBA. However, that may have happened. So you know, you lost some, but you know. They, 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 they finessing my boy. Y'all tell me, I um, mean, Donovan Mitchell didn't make all NBA. Oh, come on now. He made that. He made that shit. Come on now. Pay that man his money. No one's complaining. I'm still blessed and still able to be able to provide for my family and give back to my mom and sister, so I'm okay. You can see the details of my extension right here. Wow. So you guys heard about how I made wow. my first million dollars, and now you guys are gonna hear about how I spent my first million dollars. Big money. First thing I bought was my mom a car, and I got her a uh, a nice Audi that she always wanted, so that was about 50. It was something that I told her I wasn't gonna get her. She was like, I would love to get this car, you know? I was like, yeah, maybe in like five years, six years, you know? Once I heard that, I was like, okay. Like, I'm gonna get in the works of trying to find a way to get this car for her. We had a home stand. I was here in New York for like five days. And I drove up here and broke the car. Actually, I gave it to her here at the school um, and pulled up while she was working and walked around and she was able to get it, so um, that was pretty special for me. Porsche Panamera. Panam I think I got Panam myself Panam a car. That was a, a Porsche Panamera. Panam Panam probably Panam about 90 right there. Ooh. When I was working out, I had seen it in LA. And I was like, man, that car looks dope. You know, and then I Dirty got money. it with the mm, all black yes. red interior. Some red rims. Mm. I, was I ain't gonna lie. I think Porsches are ugly. Personally, for me, respectfully. I just, they're just not a car for me. I like. You know, that's just not me. My favorite color, so that was something for me that, you know, I was like, man, I love that my first car, and I was able to get it, and uh, so yeah, it was my, my first purchase, my first car purchase. Sister's tuition. Sister's tuition. Uh, the next thing, you know, I think for me was to uh, save some money for my sister's uh, college tuition. 
three hundred thousand right there. Fortunately, she was able to to play lacrosse. She's in where she's at school at now, but I was able to get her and make sure I have that money set aside for her. Good big brother. Good big brother. Sister G. Next purchase, I got my sister a uh, car, so I made sure my sister was set. That was in 16. She's always wanted a Jeep. I was able to get her a uh, Jeep Sahara, and I offered to trick it out for her, but she was like, no, I want it real simple. And I was like, all right, cool. That's something for me. I wanted, like, wanted to make sure my family was always set with whatever they wanted. Just kind of spoil them a little bit, or a lot of it, as much as I possibly could. And in the fifth one, the first part is I, I got my money down here on my mom's home. The other part is also being putting money towards my foundation. You know, that's giving back uh, through spider care, it's giving back to kids in the community, giving back to just people in need. You know, I think for me, just kind of taking that upon myself, you know, understanding that with the money that I make, you know, not giving everything away, but, you know, understanding uh, just being able to help change people's lives in that way, I think is, uh, is huge for me. 250 for the foundation and 250 for all. This is a million dollars for real. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm happy. You know, I think the biggest thing for me is not only I ain't gonna lie, he seemed pretty chill. Like his character on the court. You know, I ain't gonna lie, I kinda expect that, you know what I mean? But he he seems cool and chill. Yeah. But per, but you know, I can't tell a man how to spend his money, but I don't I don't I don't I don't know if I let me say I wouldn't help nobody. Of course I'd help somebody, a foundation. But I think I would probably, no, not probably, or donate my money. Personally, I feel like these foundations are like, oh, feed the, feed the poor or breast cancer winners or AIDS. I feel like they're scams, to be honest, personally. I'd rather personally go out there and find a, what the hell is it? Personally go out there and find a family and do something for them physically, myself, with the money. Buy them a car, pay for their tuition out of pocket. Then at least I know, hey, this money is going towards somebody and it's actually helping them. Instead of just giving it to the Red Cross and they be like, oh, some big rich man at the top collecting. Hell no, nah, I'm about that. Really just you know, being able to give back, but also save it for myself. And it's not just you know spending; it's also keeping it for generational wealth. You know, there are times where you 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 just want to enjoy you know the life that you have. You know, and understanding that there's times for that too. No, but there's also times to continue to be smart, you know, because this can go away real quick if you if you allow it to. And the tips I would say, man, is understanding that, you know, whatever you make, like take all this and cut it in half but just from taxes alone. And then you have so many other different things, whether it's a home, you have the mortgage or you have the cars, you know, whatever it may be. But understanding that when you buy things or get things, I understand you got to get things that over time appreciate, over time, you know, increase in value because money is great, but it definitely goes away quickly if you allow it to and you continue to spend. Whether it's uh, like, you know, having equity deals such as body armor, you know, Adidas, Stan, socks, like, for example, I use body armor uh, just because they're a company that matches, you know, who I am, my hunger, my passion, my drive. Uh... And I think for myself, we'll have to you know, plug in. continue to strive for greatness. Each thing that we do, continue to strive to be the best that matches who I am, who Donovan Mitchell is, the brand, and I'm passionate behind it. I think it's for for all athletes, for all people in general, being able to invest in what's one you Sell believe that body, in, what you're passionate about, but also a brand that's definitely successful <laughs> um, because it's great to live, invest what you believe in. But you know, if they're not successful, then you know, money's done the drain. And Body Armor's been you know successful even before Donovan Mitchell came on board, and you know that was definitely something for me that I. I wanted to be a part of, and I'm, I'm blessed to be part of the Body Armor family and continue to work with them for many more years. All right, guys, it's Donovan Mitchell here. I want to thank you guys for seeing how I spent my first million. Clap it up for my son, y'all. Yeah, appreciate it. GQ. What does G? Hey, question. What the hell? Is the, what does GQ actually stand for? Can somebody actually tell me? Let me know in the comment. Let me see if I can find it on their website. GQ. Yeah. Let me know what GQ stands for. General. No, I can't say that word. <laughs> I was gonna say a word that has nothing to do with, yeah. But, man, if you guys new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what GQ is down in the comment section, help people understand that. With that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace, I'm out.